now let us move on to understanding who are the participants of the share market the first type of participant are the retail investors such investors usually has surplus funds with them they either trade on their own or with the help of the financial intermediaries like stock broker or the research analyst the quantum of the investment made by such investors are very low when compared to the institutional investors so who are these institutional investors institutional investors are the institution like corporates banks mutual funds governments they are considered to have special knowledge and skill about investing so often they do a lot of independent research before making an investment the quantum of the investment made by institutional investors are large because they have access to high amount of capital and the information about the stock markets now let us understand who regulates this share market you all know how risky it is to trade or invest in the share markets right so don't you think there has to be someone who protects the investors yes so the security and exchange board of india sebi is the watchdog of the secondary and primary market in india since 1988 when the government of india established it as the regulatory body of the stock markets so what are the objectives of said number 1 protecting the interests of the investors in the stock market number 2 regulating the stock markets number 3 promoting the development of the stock markets the next topic we are discussing is the stock market index if i were to ask you how the stock market is moving today how would you answer my question There are approximately 5000 listed companies in the Bombay Stock Exchange and about 2000 listed companies in the National Stock Exchange. It would be very clumsy to check every company and figure out if they are up or down for the day and then give a detailed answer. So instead, you would just check a very few important companies across the key industrial sector. If a majority of these companies are moving you would say the markets are up if the majority of these companies are down you would say the markets are down and if there is a mixed trend you would say markets are sideways so essentially identify a few companies to represent the broader market every time someone ask you how the markets are doing you would just check the general trend of these selected stocks and then answer these companies that you have identified collectively so luckily you do not actually have to keep a track of all these selected companies individually to get a sense of how the markets are doing the important companies are prepackaged and continuously monitored to give you this information so easy isn't it this free package market information tool is called the market index an index acts as a barometer of the whole economy an index going up indicates that the market participants are optimistic an index going down indicates that the market participants are pessimistic there are two main indices in india the bse sensex and the nse 50 an index can be used for variety of purposes for benchmarking trading hedging index trading is probably the most popular use of the index now let us understand the few let's say five commonly used jargon in the stock market number 1 the bull market if you believe that the stock prices are likely to go up you are bullish on the stock price number 2 the bear market if you believe that the stock prices are likely to go down you are bearish on the stock price trend the term trend usually refers to the general market directions and associated strength for example if the market is declining fast the trend is said to be bearish if the market trading is flat with no movement at all then the trend is said to be sideways 
Number four, 52 week high or low. 52 week high is the highest point at which the stock has traded during the last 52 weeks. And likewise, 52 weeks low marks the lowest point at which the stock has traded during the last 52 weeks. All time high or low. This is similar to the 52 week high and low with the only difference being the all time high price is the price that the stock has ever traded from the time it has been listed. Similarly, all time low price is the lowest price at which the stock has ever traded from the time it has been listed.